SpaceX entered into a partnership with a Canadian technology startup to launch a digital billboard in orbit. Samuel Reed, CEO and co-founder of Geometric Energy Corporation, said his company is partnering with SpaceX to launch an advertising satellite called a CubeSat. The satellite would have a massive screen on one side where people could bid to display their logos and ads. The footage from the screen will then be live streamed on YouTube and Twitch for people to watch back on Earth. When complete, companies and regular people will be able to purchase advertising space through tokens. Beta for X coordinate, Rho for Y coordinate, Gamma for the brightness, Kappa for the color, and Z for the time. These will be available through cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, with plans to incorporate Dogecoin in the future. Reed, who taught some of Musk's children at his Ad Astra school in California, said that he is trying to achieve something that can democratize access to space and allow for a decentralized participation. SpaceX has yet to comment on this partnership, so there's a chance it might not even come to fruition. However, Reed said that his company had been vying for their attention since 2018. But what could this mean to the space industry if this deal does go through? Well, any kind of adverts in space that require public and or private participation will ultimately decrease the future cost of space travel. We are already seeing the fall in cost of flying to space when space agencies like SpaceX took over NASA launches. The Falcon 9, which SpaceX uses to ferry NASA astronauts to space, is significantly cheaper than any other rocket flown to the ISS. Previously, advertising in space has faced criticisms for contributing to the existing problem of space debris and polluting the view of space as seen from the ground. It is regulated by several international and national legislation, though as technology improves further, regulation will likely be required to cover new forms of space advertising. Beginning in the 1990s, when space technology became more available for companies after the space race and the fall of the Soviet Union, space advertising became a point of interest for various organizations to use as a marketing tool. Since then, there have been numerous attempts at space advertising, including Elon Musk's SpaceX launching of a Tesla car into orbit. But those aren't commercially viable for all of us. So what are the advantages of space-based advertising over Earth-based ones. The major one is the sheer scale of reach. Billions of people across multiple countries can be reached through an advert orbiting Earth. As such, space advertising can provide valuable advertising capabilities, though relatively high startup costs have prohibited this from becoming a commonplace in media. When considering the fact that companies are willing to spend millions for short Super Bowl commercials, the sheer benefits provided by space advertising are very enticing for companies for advertising purposes. Now let's look at some of the challenges. One of these challenges of obtrusive space advertising is the difference in marketing regulations across different countries. Because space advertisements orbit the Earth and are so obtrusive, they are seen in the sky in multiple different countries. In the EU, advertisers are banned from running tobacco-related advertisements. In Ireland, advertisements that undermine public authority are also outlawed. Countries like the United States, on the other hand, prioritize freedom and commercial speech. These differences in advertising regulations make it pretty hard for obtrusive space advertisements to remain legal across multiple jurisdictions. In the United States, consumers have the right to deny the receipt of an advertisement. It's not clear whether or not consumers can effectively opt out of receiving space advertisements. Ad blocking in the future is going to be increasingly difficult. When space advertisements become a part of our everyday lives, things we have to do to block them out of view include closing the blinds, shut the door, stop looking into the night sky, and even some countries might take hostile action towards the board and orbit. Infringements on property rights also create a challenge for space advertisers. Since most space advertisements will be bright, it might create a nuance for property owners. All this, plus many different regulations, might make it impossible for us to see space advertising in the future. Next time on Discover Zen, why exploring space and investing in research is truly non-negotiable. 
Thank you so much for watching our video. If you liked what you saw, make sure to click that like and subscribe button. Let us know in the comments below which companies you think will be the first to advertise in space.